Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like and share and comment. Come and like and share and comment. Your boy done switched up on you. Come and like and share and comment. Wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. If this is your very first time on this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this great family. None of your part of us does some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, 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 like a share, and go for the team. Comment, like a share, and go Coming like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't forget to come in like a share. Okay, you guys check this out. We're gonna go ahead and pray. We'll get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Happy Saturday, happy Saturday, happy Saturday. You guys today. We have some soul food. And guess what? We have a hubby edition. <laughs> yes, hubby cook for us today, you guys. So, before we get started, if you'd like your coldest water bottle, look in the description box. Just wherever the top in blue. Put in the code L L I P S and that'll give you 10% off of your entire order. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out, y'all. Cause baby, I know this is gonna be good. Let's see if that's refreshing. Mmm. 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 Yes, here. Yeah, I know we got our little hot sauce. We're gonna need it for this chicken. Look for the description of this. Wait, up in the description box as well. It's in blue too. You guys, today we have fried chicken legs. We have lima beans with turkey mixed. Turkey and eggs in them. Mm hmm. And we have fried over. And that's what we're eating. So, how y'all doing today? How you doing? How you doing? Mm hmm. How you doing? Mm hmm. -mm. Y'all, I'm hungry. Now I am hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys, do not forget, if you want some of your lips merch, you look in the description box, it says lips, hot sauce, and merch. It's down now. And y'all, I am so surprised that we're not getting more of our TLC Detox Tea sales. Y'all, what's going on? We're getting older. We need some multivitamins. Detoxing all those toxins out of our body. We need that, y'all. Y'all, we need to get on that. For real. The link down there. Now, if you want to become a part, I said become. <laughs> hey, it's so good my baby. <laughs> hey. And if you want to become a member to sell the detox tea and the TLC products yourself, hit that link down there, y'all. Hit that link down there. All right, let me do some hot sauce. Um, I need turkey next for one. I'm gonna take that chicken before. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Before. Mmm. I put that hot sauce on, y'all. Woo. Hubby asked me what I want to eat. I told him I wanted some lamb bean. Luckily, I had cooked on them. They was already in the freezer. But, baby, he fried up this little okra and these old chicken legs, huh? Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. And we off the business. Mmm. Mmm. So how did y'all like the live last night? 
All right, y'all give him some of this yard, pimp some of this bird. Mm-hmm. Woo! Oh, it's hot. Y'all, it's just steaming inside. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's seasoned to perfection. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, it's good. Now, let's get some of this old the lips hot sauce on this old yard, pimp, honey. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's good. Mmm. 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 Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yes, it is. Mmm. Okay, well, come on back here, man. Come on back. Mmm. Mmm. That's hot. Mm. Y'all know how. Mmm. When you were a kid, and you went to eat dinner, you know, mama portioned out your know, chicken and everything put on your plate. And I was always the type of child that I was trying to portion my meat to my food. You know what I mean? Because I ain't nobody going to get no more meat. Well, I wanted to have meat throughout the dinner or breakfast or whatever it was that we were eating. Mm-hmm. So you might not got no meat, honey. You might not have. So I would try to eat. Mm. 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 A host of my side item really quick. So I make sure I had meat all the way through. Mm. You know, nobody want to end up eating um, a bunch of vegetables that you ain't got no meat. I ain't gonna love it to me. Even though I do love vegetables. I do. Behind who we want to meet. And okra. Okra and cucumbers. Are my two favorite vegetables anyway. They just are. Now who don't like chicken? Y'all have a follower, a friend, Tandy the Fremont. Change your Fremont. I say her name just by every time I'm eating chicken. Y'all, Tandy eat chicken every single day. Every day. She fry her some chicken. She just love chicken. For real. She fry her some chicken every day. Every day of the week. Well, I could eat chicken every day I could. But after a while, I'm going to be on steak, some old sleep food, honey. And you know, Tanya says she don't care. She wants chicken. Um, and I said, go ahead, honey. Get you some chicken, honey. Uh, See what this leg here talking about. They so hot. Woo. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, it's good. I find my chicken at old school. With numbers and fly. With some seasoned fly. With some well washed chicken. And open the pot. Me. But hubby, when he fries his chicken, he put like an egg wash and stuff on it. It makes the um 
you know, like a crusty real um, flaky and stuff. Honey, y'all ain't got time for all that. I just want to eat the chicken. They do be good like that, though. You know, the skin be real flaky. Y'all like turkey necks? Ah. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, God. Yes. God, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this meal, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. It's really good, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. So, what y'all gonna do with y'all Saturday? Huh? Tell me what I'm asking. What you gonna do with your Saturday? Um, hubby and I finna get up and get out. Browse around the city a little bit today. See what's going on out there. From the inside the vehicle. Okay. I was watching the news, honey. And they say Georgia is number five on the list. With Miss Rona. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm not planning on adding to her list. I'm not. But we do have a couple places we need to go. We're gonna run around. Check out some things. We found out the important things very quick. A barber, where I get my stuff from my hot sauce, Walmart, dollar store, you know. We found all that stuff in the first couple of days. We had to have that stuff. Now that all is well with that, you know, we can venture out for, you know, a little, you know, a little spot. We can go and hear some live music or something. You know, we get off to our stuff in the booth. Act like we still on our honeymoon and everything. I right, sit it. Yep. I love the honeymoon phase, honey. I do. You know, those of you that are married, and you remember, you remember that honeymoon stage, honey. Yes, God. I think that the honeymoon stage is well, the longevity is the most beautiful thing about it. it is. Because you guys know me and hubby have been together 14 years. But there's something about when you first get married. When you first get them papers on them, when they first become yours, or officially yours, you know. Now, I hope if you're marrying them, you already know that you're You know what I'm talking about? Don't be no fool, people. Don't be no fool, now. Don't jump out there and just get to marry anything. Because when you get married, a lot of things change. Yes, sir. When you get married, things change. That's good. What used to be cute, you know, like flowers and work and stuff like that, and now all of a sudden it's expected. For real, I'm so serious, y'all. It's funny. But it turned from, oh, baby, that's so sweet. Oh, baby, that's so sweet. So, that's what you did to get me. You got to do to keep it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Young Taylor. <laughs> marriage is a wonderful thing. It is. It's a wonderful thing. I love being married. I do. But it has its own ups and downs to it too. It does. It really, really does. That's why I say marriage is not something that you take lightly. A marriage is not something you just do just because you want to fit in. Because you want to be married. Uh -uh. Now you about to send yourself down a world of destruction. I'm dead. Your business gonna be laid down by the side of the highway, honey. And 18 wheels gonna be running over like ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Honey, you can't do that. 
I advise anybody, it ain't nothing worth getting married over than love. Nothing. No money. No. I'm pregnant. Excuse me, y'all. I know y'all seen that, didn't you? You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> I've been skipping it. I just decided I was going to say it that time. But y'all ain't no money for being pregnant. I do not care. It's better for you to raise your baby with a willing participant that want to be there and now for whatever capacity they're there for than to be trying to get married and then trap somebody because you made a mistake. I'm telling you, marriage is a serious thing. Go with them. Mm hmm. Because the law, once you get married, you know, you, you married. You know, that means if he or she got a lot of money today, and that's what you married for, and then they fall down and get hurt years later, hence my situation, you know, you get hurt, ties, I mean, you know, times and things change. They do. And over time, those things are going to change. Getting married for people's looks and stuff like that, baby. You gonna be miserable. Gonna be miserable. You are because you don't look the same as you age. You know you still may be good looking. Yeah, I mean that's one thing. But ain't none of us gonna stay young forever. So I'm getting married for looks, money, stuff like that because I'm pregnant and all that, baby. You crazy? Uh huh. The only reason why I got married is because I was in love. Period. That's it. And that's what I advise for you to do too. If you ain't already married, and if you are already married, baby, try to hold on to that love. For real. For real. I used to be a big, a real big person on who's right and wrong. You know, I was right. And da 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 da. Honey, there's something on me that's a little bit. That stuff don't mean a hill of being with time. It don't. It don't mean nothing. Being right and there be no compromise, you still lose. You still lose. It'd be better to not have to be right and come to a compromise in both of the um, point of view than to be right and don't have no compromise. Because you're still going to be at what? Mad. You're right. But you can't get no sugar. You know what I'm saying? You can get no sugar. Mm. Mm. Y'all know I have to have the crystal. So, I just found over the years, it's better to be at a compromise than have to be right all the time. Because nobody's going to be right all the time. Everybody has ideas. Everybody has goals. You know. One thing I will tell you though. When you do get married. Don't lose your individuality. You know what I'm saying. You become one yes. And you're going to do probably 85, 90% of the things you do together. You should. And that's our reason for getting married to me. And have somebody sitting over there looking at me like, oh, your ugly self. <laughs> Y'all, I was saying it to me with your ugly self. For real. That's what it's about. I can envision production and I. I was just telling him the other day, baby, I can't wait till we get in our 50s and 60s. I can imagine it. I really, really can. What kind of old couple we gonna be? Because old and a couple we gonna be. For real. I just let it in. For real. When you get married, when you married me, you're mine. Until you die, and then you belong to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? In my religion, we only believe in one marriage anyway. That's in my religion. I ain't saying nothing about children, what you believe in now. So don't come at me in the comments. I cannot deal with you. 
on religion. That's what you believe. That's what you believe, boo. I'm saying in my belief, God only marries, only honors one marriage. And once you take that vow and say, I do that first time, that's it. Until that person died, because that was the vow that you made. In my religion. Don't come at me, don't come at me. I'm going to tell you, because I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back now. So I, I really think to say it, when you tell me what's right or wrong, whose religion is right or wrong, and what God said, I ain't going to tell me all that. We tell me what I believe lives me. That's me. He he did know. This person. You know what I mean? Anyway. So, let's just hear what it is. But I just see a lot of people, you know, get married and be divorced in a little no time. Simply because they married for the wrong reason. You marry because you want to be with that person the rest of your life. That's what you get married for. And getting married for anything else, you may come through there and make it. You may. But if you want to be with a person the rest of your life, and they want to be with you the same, you tend to stay and work it out when it gets hard. Because in a marriage, it's going to get hard. Mm-hmm. It is. Because you become one. You know? And everybody's ideas count. It does. Oh. Mm. Mm. I learned in a marriage, or just with people, period, over the time, but especially in a marriage, once things come out of your mouth, you can't take them back. You know what I'm saying? That's why if you're upset and you're mad, it's better to have sense and walk away for a while. You know, let things cool off. Because you say things out of your mouth and you can't take them back. And sometimes there's going to come a day that you're going to say some things that that person is going to expire before you get time to say I'm sorry. It happens. God has an extra date for us all, and none of us know when that is. And I don't want to be just laid down and just say some cruel stuff to my husband that I can say I'm sorry later on. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I just really, really don't. Y'all look at the skin coming off of that one. Look at that skin, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right back. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Off the good camera. I'm gonna finish this off the camera. Y'all, like I said, I don't know where and how and why the conversation come up like they did. They just do. But I do want to know the sanctity. I do want you to know that the sanctity of marriage is something that's a beautiful thing. Just make sure you're doing it for the right reason. You know what I'm saying? Getting married for finances and looks and stuff like that, that stuff will not last. Because those things are subject to change. But if you love that person, you want to be with that person for the rest of your life. They may change through circumstances, but they'll still be the same in the inside. The person you fell in love with, the person that used to make you feel goo goo goggly just by saying, hey, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all finna get out of here. I love you guys so, so much. Sorry, my new Lee Jam. I love you so, so, so much. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be here with us. And me and my Lee want to say, welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Time existing leeching. Y'all look at this bird hoodie made for us today. <laughs> y'all, we love you guys so so much. We hope you enjoyed the live last night. Mm -hmm. And y'all, we finna get up out of here. Do not forget, if you want your coldest water bottle, the link is in the description box. If you want just some lips, hot sauce, or merch, the link is in the description box. And you guys, we need to get on our TLC products. Our detox team, our multivitamin, Nutriburst, NRG. We need to get on that. It's down there. Y'all hit that link down there and get you some and clean our bodies from the inside out. I love you guys so, so much. And you guys, we got some challenges coming up. We have some Buck Bang Bulls productions. And we have our own personal challenge that we're going to be coming out with soon. If not Monday, it'll be Tuesday. I love you guys so, so much. And we'll see you next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys know. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. 
All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you are not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye, bye. That was good. That was good. Really? And I was cute too. I kept looking down like, oh boy, you cute. What's that? What are you? Hey! I love I had my glow on, Annie. That's what made me think about you, because I had my glow on. Whatever. I love you guys. We'll see you guys later. We're going to go out, y'all. Bye. Bye bye, y'all. <laughs>